Hey gang, how you doing? Well today I thought I'd show you my book that um, turned up today. Um, oh, about three or four weeks ago I published my own uh, art book through um, a company called, uh, was it Blurp? No, <laughs> I can never say it right. Blurb.com and um, I made, basically I made a photo book of um, all of my scanner art images that I created uh, almost a year ago I think now and um, I just decided to put it into a book and publish it and see how it turned out and I have to say the results oh, I think they're fantastic okay so this is my little book my first ever so I'm pretty excited I mean it's nothing majorly exciting but it's it's a start and it's it's a seed really because now I just want to keep making more and the next one I'm going to make is going to have text in it. Okay, so this is a hardcover version. And, yeah, it just says Scanner Art by me. And then, I just have the, it has all my Scanner Art images. And they're really good quality. And the paper's nice and thick. And, you know, absolutely fantastic I love them so I mean I've got all of the images in there that I created with a couple of friends and um, yep so that's my book so yippee so you know it's not that difficult um, it might seem like it but it isn't really it's pretty straightforward so check it out um, you know Blurb gets you to download one of their programs where you can actually create everything and then just upload the photos and it's done. It took me half an hour to make this book uh, on the computer and um, I love the effects. I'm going to make another one. I'm, uh, I might call it Scanner Art again, but I'm going to do a how to, how to create these image, like images like this using uh, your, your scanner and found objects and light sources and other little cool tricks of the trade that I've uh, come up with. So I'm really excited about that. So I thought I'd show you. So I thought I'd also show you my uh, little mask that I'm working on. Uh, this is using this new type of clay that's quite fine and um, I had it resting on um, like a this huge big egg thing that I usually rest things on there but uh, it obviously stuck to it and as it dried it didn't um, it couldn't um, contract and so it created this big crack in it and I thought oh no it's ruined now and um, anyway I thought I'll just keep on carving it and experimenting and having fun with it and you now as I got going I thought oh, you know what I really really like this and I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna add it into it and I came up I've just wrote this quote across it uh, and this too shall pass uh, so I sort of think that that goes well with the, with the crack, you know. Things aren't perfect in life and, you know, we all have disasters and, you know, it'll eventually pass, but, you know. Um, so that's the reason I put that and I started writing some more on the side and I wrote, Dream big, no excuses, and as you wish, so shall you be. So I'm just going to carve some more on this side and then... I'm going to fire it in my uh, Raku kiln and then um, create some really cool uh, effects on it. But these are really cool. I mean, it's probably going to go like as a gar garden ornament to go in the ground and sort of be half unearthed like an, like an artifact really. And I want that sort of effect. And um, I think it's going to... Yeah, I'm really happy with this one so far. Now, to carve all this out, I'm actually using... A small handheld drill. It's actually uh, battery operated, and I picked it up at a, a really cheap thrift store. Um, and you just had two AA batteries, and it's really good, and it carves really nicely. And the clay's there's no um, like grit in the clay. It's very fine clay, and um, so I'm happy with that result. And there's going to be heaps more masks now because got this art fair coming up uh, end of September so I've really got oh, I've got about eight weeks to get things together but um, you know you've got to start 
So that's the mask.